Wow, right? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. I am Sweet Ash Gamer, and today we are continuing Mystica SMP. So as you can see, I have been working. I finally finished the roof for the, the most part. Um, there's a lot of monsters around, I think underneath our feet, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got all this kind of closed in now. I think that we're going to have another entrance or exit, whatever, out this way because there is water out there. I think that that'd be a cool addition to like maybe be able to boat out of our cave. But also, I've had to add some more pillars if you didn't notice. I'm still not finished with them. I'm still working on it. It takes a long time to get all the way up there, even with this thing. This thing is, uh, this ring is really, really good. I'm not gonna lie, but it's also really hard to control because I can't stop myself from floating, you know? So if I need to do something at this level, I just keep going up and then all of a sudden I can't reach it. And then my only option is to shift and then I just fall back down. So building is still kind of hard with it, but hopefully we'll be able to get some scaffolding made. That should help. All right, so if we just go ahead and go out this way, like I said, there's water. Oh, looks like I caught an otter, cute. All right, and if you just look at this area, I've mostly closed it in. We're gonna cover the rest of it with grass, that way it's not an eyesore. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of this up here. I thought about building like an above ground base that connected also underground, but I'm not quite sure what I wanna do yet, but there's a lot of land here that I can use because nothing's here. We could use it as farming, like a garden. We could use it for animals. I don't know. But we definitely have a lot of space. Alright, so I know I said in the last episode that I wanted to work on enchanting, and that is still true. I do want to do that this episode, but I mean, if you just look around, you can tell like my base still needs a lot of work. And I feel like maybe putting in some walls to kind of hide all this stone is going to make it look a lot better in here. Also, I need to finish my pillars, obviously, but I feel like if we could get those things done, then I could feel good enough about the base that I could start, like, actually adding things to it. Although we have this whole area over here, I might actually temporarily put my enchant area in this tower here because we do have room in it, and then maybe when I have the base actually fleshed out a little bit more, then we can choose where we want our enchant room. But let's go, let's go check out the space. All right, if we just go up in this door here, this ladder takes you up to like several different layers. We got this layer, we got this layer. Also, there's a door here that'll take us over to this side as well. And we also have a third layer up here. So this is like just the main floor a nice lookout but also uh i can fall through this by the way so <laughs> um yeah it's uh i'm i was thinking initially my idea was to somehow like connect this with like a walkway but um i don't know maybe that actually come through here instead we're gonna have several layers to this cave i feel like we could fit the enchant tables up here but maybe we should put them a little bit lower can it go here Ugh, they're not even. I hate that. Okay, so if we go ahead and look at this chest, I've got seven books, three leather, we've got some paper here. We could probably make a few more books with that, but we definitely are going to need a lot more leather to be able to make 15 bookcases. We need three books for each, which is one leather for each book. Three times 15 is 45, so we need 45 leather, but we have 10. So we need 35, so we might have to kill 35 cows. <laughs> um, maybe we can take our dragon. Hey dragon, you wanna go on a little bit of a ride? Let's take our dragon, we'll fly around, see if we can find any cows in the area, and hopefully we can find 35, because that's what we need. Hello, I'm ready, you wanna go? Oh, I'm so excited, I can't see anything right now, but this is fun. <laughs> A new world! Oh my gosh, I guess I can look at my map here. See, there's a lot of foxes in the area, as well as creepers and spiders. Looks like it's nighttime. I was not paying attention to that. Um, 
<laughs> Maybe we should have went to sleep. I don't know. Let's fly around though and hopefully we'll just come across a field full of cows that are ready to make a sacrifice. Wow, look at this area. Look at these trees. My dragon. <laughs> she got a big old booty. She can't fit through some of this stuff. Oh, wow. Look how pretty it is in here. I wonder what this is called. I don't know, because I'm on my dragon. I can't see anything else. <laughs> pretty area, though. Alright, still looking for cows. Cows! Hello! I am here to murder. Apologies. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for your sacrifice. Oh my goodness, we got five! Let's go! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's check our map. Alright, I see a lot of sheep. I see one more cow. Where is he? Oh, there you are. I see you. I see you. You can't escape me. Alright, we got another one. We got another one. Let's get out of here. What is that? Oh, that's your wing. <laughs> Big girl. Big girl. Let's go. Horses. Ooh, a waystone. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on, we can use that. Make sure it's not something. Nope, that's definitely not something. Cow's down there, too. Okay. Let me... Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I... I have to. You saw none of that? Alright, we've got some more leather. Come on, baby. I thought I saw some cows down here. There we are. You stay right there for a minute. Hi. Thank you. Oop. Thank you. All right, we have a 14. Still not enough. Let's keep going. Before I leave this area, I actually kind of want some of these trees. So luckily, I did bring my gobber axe. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of these trees. I'm excited. Witch hazel. Wow. It's green? Oh, I like that. Oh, I'm so excited. Can I get some saplings? Branches. What? There we go. Witch hazel sapling. Just need one. Cool. I'd rather need... I'd rather take more than one, to be honest with you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I will go now. It's a lovely biome. It's beautiful. What is it called? Probably the witch hazel place. The Weeping Witch Forest. Spooky. Alright, well. White puffball. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go. See you. Hi, creeper. I need to get back to my dragon. What in the world? Do you see my map? Is this real? Hold on. Let me go look at this waystone really quickly. <gasps> A new waystone again. Wow. Um, there's cows literally everywhere here. What is this, like, cow meadow? Okay. Come on, cows. Alright. <laughs> I wish I would have found this in the very beginning. Look at how many cows around here. Oh my gosh. Well, time to go on a killing spree. Well, <laughs> it may have taken all night, but if you look on the map, I... Killed, like, all the cows. I have a stack of leather. So, let's go home. I got enough stuff to be able to make plenty of books now. Let's get the heck out of here. Honey, I'm home. Oh, let me fit through the door. Here I am. Oh my gosh. Alright, let me, boop, sit your booty down there, please. And if you'd like to pop a little bit of a squat, please. Good girl. Okay. 64 leather. I am excited about this. We are... Oh. I think I told her to follow me. Go again. Sit. You good now? <laughs> okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and let's start making these bookshelves. Obviously, looking at this, we know that we've got a whole bunch of bookshelf options. But to be honest, I think I'm just going to use what I have and we'll worry about this when we're actually placing the enchant area like it's permanent spot 
but for now we'll probably have like a temporary one. There's a witch hazel bookshelf. We can go ahead and make that one. We just got the witch hazel. I think that'd be cool. All right, perfect. We now have, ooh, look at that. Looks nice. Let's go ahead and uh, put it where we need to put it. All right, and here is our enchanting table. Ugh, okay, let's go up. I think we should do it here. I mean, this is where we keep all our stuff and everything. Should we do it on this level or this one? Uh, I think here is fine. It's not going to be even because it's, like, awkward and, like, not, you know. But let's try it. All right, well, I had to cut out that wall to make this work. But it, it does work, so let's go ahead and see what kind of enchants we can get. Oh, oh. What is heroic? I don't even know. Let's check our armor. Steadfast unbreaking? What? What is steadfast? Fire protection. That could be good. Unbreaking four. Yes. Let's do that. Whoa. That's good. Prop four. Depth strider three. Well, unfortunately, I don't go in the water, so that's not going to help me much. Okay, so I don't know how much of this process, like, that I'm going to take you guys through. I just want to kind of give you an idea of what I'm thinking. So, Obviously, I want all of these pillars to be like those ones back there, so I've got to work on that. But, I think that I am going to start a wall on either end of the pillars on the sides. And it's going to go up. And I think there's even going to be like kind of a second layer as well on either side that you can like climb stairs up onto the sides. And the entire center where the pillars are is going to be just one level. But on the sides, it's going to be probably two levels. So I'm really interested to see how this is going to turn out. All right. So I think that I want the walls to start probably here. I'm going to have an issue with like light and stuff because I have night vision. So I have no idea how dark it actually is in here. But I imagine it's very, very dark. So I'm going to have to come up with an idea of lighting it up. It's a lot harder to light up a big area than it is to section things off and then attempt to light smaller rooms. So that's kind of the idea for this. Either side is going to be, you know, stuff. This is going to be like interior area. And I think that it's going to be cool. So I'm going to go ahead and start kind of on this wall and figure out exactly how far that it's going to go. And Oh my gosh. <laughs> And um, it'll probably at least stretch down all the way to the end where this last pillar is. But I might run out of cobblestone. So maybe this wall will end, let's see, probably around here. That way it can go out this way too. And then maybe I'll have like... Will I have that? I don't know. That might not be cut off. I can't decide if I want this back wall to be dark or if I want it to like keep going. But we'll figure that out. I'm not sure. We'll do that last. Let's do the sides first and then we'll see where we can go from there. Alright, so that was all the wall that I could build before I completely ran out of deep slate. So those are going to go all the way up. There's going to be a lot of texture and everything to them, of course, and they're going to pop out this way. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have, I'm going to decorate this entire wall. It's going to have like jut outs and everything. It's not going to be a flat wall. And I'm going to have like probably staircases that'll go up into like, oh, into like rooms and stuff that are going to be in these walls. And it's going to do that on either side. I think it'll look really good. I need to cover up this wall as well, but... As soon as I am able to get enough deep sleep to finish these walls, I think that it'll look so much better in here. All right, guys, so I have been working. As you can see, it's pretty much done. Our base, it has a roof, it has a ceiling, it has pretty much finished pillars minus we need some lights in them because things keep spawning up there. So I was thinking redstone, 
but honestly, to be able to like do all the redstone stuff and everything, I might just put glowstone. I haven't decided. So, but we definitely do need to light up this place so much more because I imagine for other people it's very dark in here. I have night vision, so yeah, I imagine it's really dark. But this area over here, is, like I told you before, was going to be kind of like, this is where the water is here. So I figured we'd make like a little section here that we could boat out or something. I thought that'd be really cool. Um, but along these walls here, we're actually going to be building up and it's going to be like a platform coming off the wall and it should be fine. I am trying to figure out what kind of wood that we should use. I know that I actually started up there with some spruce wood and I love it, but we have some modded wood, that wood, but also a lot of other wood. And I was looking at it, and I also went through uh, all the wood that I had from the nether. I was looking at all the different colors, and I just feel like a lot of these colors don't really blend in with what I want. I kind of want some ebony, but I've not come across any ebony yet. So I think that we need to search for that, but I have one other issue that I need to tend to first. If you look right here... Our fortune for netherite pickaxe is breaking. Yeah, I don't like that. So I made some lecterns right here and we're gonna run over here to our villagers that we have. Nope, they're not in there, my bad. Excuse me. Wait, where are they? Where did I put them? You guys in here? Oh, I think they're through here. Oh, hi. Hey guys, not seeing you in a while. Um, So I was thinking about giving you some jobs. Oh, you're almost dead. Ooh, that makes me nervous to break your boat. Should I not break it with this? Ooh, yikes. Okay, this... Oh! Well, that just makes things even harder. Why would you do that? Ah! Uh, oh, that was so close. I was so scared. Alright, we need some jobs happening here. Ooh, he took it immediately. Death Strider, no thanks. No thanks. Different trades. Alright, this is probably going to take a little while, so I will come back to you whenever we hopefully have some mending trades. Look at what I just got. It didn't take that long, but I made sure to lock it in real quick with a paper trade, and we finally have a mending villager. Um, luckily, it's the guy that has more hearts, just in case, you know? <laughs> uh, but we will get that other guy a job too, but I'm very excited about this. We actually need... 34 emeralds and we we have one so uh we're going to have to get a bunch of emeralds to do that but i am so excited we finally got mending are you excited oh, guess what guess what i finally have a name for you and we are going to name you today oh my gosh i'm gonna do that real quick all right her name is going to be excuse me Where's your... Freya! Oh, that's your new name! Oh my gosh, look! Aw, I love it! My cool dragon named Freya. Yeah! Alright, so I was a little concerned about this villager's health, so I went ahead and I ran back over to the village and I grabbed this guy. And then I remembered that there was, like, a stick trade that I could do, so I made a whole bunch of sticks and I did his trade as many times as he let me and I managed to get 34 emeralds so I believe now we are able to yeah I also traded some paper so 31 he lowered it cool we can afford a mending book now wow that is so expensive but oh my gosh it went down to 30 cool that is so expensive but at least we have a mending book single mending book oh my gosh I feel like maybe it's going to be better if hopefully somebody has a store and I can buy it because that's going to be a lot of emeralds. Let's go ahead and add that onto that. Perfect. And now I'm happy because now our netherite pickaxe is not going to break. All right. Well, now that we have the mending situation pretty much settled, let's go ahead and let's fly around and see if we can't find ourselves some ebony wood because I would really, really like to use that color. Okay, I love how her name is just in my face the entire time. We'll never forget it. <laughs> All right, let's... 
I really, I can't even tell on my map, like, what biome I'm, I'm looking for. I, I think it's supposed to be, like, a... I don't even remember, but... Kind of like a... Like a wasteland sort of thing. So, I guess we're looking for that. But I really, really don't know where it's gonna be, so we're just gonna kind of fly around. I thought I saw an ebony tree at one point, but it was just one. And I actually don't remember where it was. So, I think that maybe, maybe we'll just have to keep looking. I stopped in this biome because I thought I saw this tree, and I did. Very happy about this. Now we can get ebony. Mine. Oh my gosh, yes. Please give me tons of saplings. I need all the saplings. Alright, so if you just take a nice look around, we have been building for quite some time now, but I have sort of hit a bit of a rut, and I'm not sure exactly what I want to do next. Um, I was considering this, making a staircase here that would go up and like branch off like re left and right to go up, and I'm not sure if I want to block that like center view or not, but I feel like it could look really good. So we might do that, and if I don't do that, then I'm going to find another way that we're able to get up onto that second story, because currently we have no way up there. But I think a staircase, like a big grand staircase that goes up to like right maybe here, and then goes off each direction would be good. But I'm not sure, so if you guys have any opinions on that, please let me know. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!